Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. For the next 30 minutes, I will present our point of view regarding the use of lasers and combination techniques in anti-aging medicine. So, how we define the process of uh, aging? The process of aging is a process of uh, system deterioration and degradation. Facial skin changes is one of the most apparent and most common examples of aging. Histological, we can see actinic changes, and we have a lot of, uh, of uh, modification in color, in texture, in uh, vascular uh, um, appearance. Uh, of course, at the microscopic level and histological level, you can see all these modifications that uh, there on the slide. Uh, we use to treat our patient on a system, on a classification uh, based on logo photo aging classification, in which type 1 is no wrinkles. They usually are patients between 20s and 30s, minimal or no makeup. Uh, type 2 wrinkles in motions, the wrinkles that we can see them only when the patient moves or speaks, uh, moves the facial. Uh, muscles. The patients usually are aged between 30s and 40s, usually wear some foundations. Type 3, wrinkles are rest, wrinkles that we can see also when the patient doesn't speak, doesn't speak or doesn't move their face. Uh, usually you can see at the patients older than 50, always they wear heavy foundation. And of course type 4, only wrinkles on, uh, we call it. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's in, uh, usually seen in uh, patients over uh, six to seven decade, and also you can see that they cannot wear any foundation because it cracks. Anyway, for uh, photo aging against photo aging, we have to have prophylactic measures. Uh, of course, everybody knows about them, but not everybody respects them. So we'll uh, we'll. Uh, uh, I will try to um, tell you exactly what we, we can do. So when we have outdoor activities, we should use a lot of sunscreens. We should not smoke, of course. Exercise is good. Moisturizers when the skin is dry. And uh, also, we always should uh, wear some protective uh, clothing if our skin is uh, it's, um, seen by a lot of UVs. Of course, uh, we can do also some treatments that rejuvenate the photo-aged skin. And for example, if uh, someone comes like that, what we can do? We can improve his appearance, we can improve his uh, well-being. We have to think about photo-aging triad. The triad consists of wrinkling, pigmented dyschromia, skin, skin surface irregularities. So the results that we want to achieve are decreased wrinkling, even skin pigmentation, improved skin smoothing, and also a happier look, as you see it here. So the patient it looks happy because has uh, no more the big problem, the rhinophima that he had. It. Anyway, always we have to have um, conservative. When we consult a patient, we have to uh, see his uh, motives to be a realistic one. Also, we have to set the patient expectation at the realistic levels. The patient always uh, should understand that uh, the treatments for photoaging are uh, done over a long period of time. Usually in our clinic we, we do it over one, one and a half years. And after that we have some maintenance uh, treatments that they can improve uh, their appearance. We use a lot of lasers, but also different other uh, therapy combinations, combination therapies that you'll see it, uh, later on. Of course, we have to avoid the complication, which are caused by improper technique, inadequate photoprotective measures. Of course, the patients always, when we treat them, uh, we, they have not to be tanned prior to the treatment. So what treatments we use in present anti-aging dermatological treatments? Of course, we use uh, a lot of dermatocosmetical products, but also we use surgical and therapeutic lasers, ablative and non-ablative lasers, IPL in photo-aging, 
injections for treatment of wrinkles, hyaluronic acid fillers, lactic acid, Botox, bot botulinum toxin A, pills, dermabrasion, microdermabrasion, and chemical pill mesotherapy. Of course, in, uh, in, from my point of view and our uh, clinic point of view, the gold standard for skin resurfacing, for photoaging, for a severe photoaging is uh, uh, the gold standard is the CO2 laser or the erbium laser. Of course, we have an alternative as uh, at, at this point we can use, uh, of course, some new technologies and also we can use non-ablative lasers and IPLs. The fractional laser is uh, also uh, closer to the CO2 gold standard that uh, we usually uh, use it in our clinic. New treatments, of course, they are uh, light emitting diodes treatments that they uh, have good results on wound healing, vascular lesions, active acne, acne scars, skin cancer, by photodynamic therapy, and also skin rejuvenation. Of course, new, tre new treatments include the dye lasers, which uh, produce a collagen stimulation wrinkles in photodamaged skin, and it has uh, very little downtime. It needs no... Uh, uh, <coughs> no uh, wound healing because it's a non-ablative procedure. Of course, we have radiofrequency treatment producing a collagen shrinkage on the treatment area, and also uh, we have a uh, high-intensity focused ultrasound that we, you'll, uh, we are using it in our clinic for localized adipose tissue in conjunction with mesotherapy. And uh, I will, you'll see some results after the, the at the end of the slides. What uh, procedures we use in our uh, uh, clinic? Of course, laser application to the light, as I mentioned, chemical pills, dermabrasion, microdermal, botox, injection, injectable fillers, and of course, esthetician provide the procedures, and I will pass, I'll try to pass on uh, all, all uh, these uh, uh, procedures. So ablative la uh, rejuvenation or ablative laser, we are using ablative laser for that. Ablative lasers are uh, removal, what they do, they remove the pigmentation and superficial wrinkles by ablating the thin layers of epidermis. When is doing that, because the laser is absorbed by water, the water is in the skin, and it does the, it does the vaporization of cells and ablation of thin and the exact layers of the tissue.